Hi Pisces, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Two of Cups, wow. Okay, how they're feeling about you while they're uh, very attracted to you physically, emotionally. They feel like there's some, it can be like a telepathic connection. You can read each other's minds. Um, there's a deep understanding here. They feel like it's mutual love deeply connected to you. Wow, I love this. Because hanging hey man, Pisces energy ruling our 12th house. This is deep. Wow, we can end the reading here. They love you. That is how they're feeling. Let's take that. Six of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Huh, interesting. Very stable energy, whoever you're dealing with. We have Sun, King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Emperor, Knight of Pentacles. Someone who's not afraid of responsibilities. They may have a lot of responsibilities. Some of them may have to be... Um, they may have a child or children from their previous connection. So that is something they're having to wrap up or... Clarify Six of Cups, Five of Swords. Okay, Pisces, some of you, this has to do with this person's past. A shake-up, a breakup. And others of you, there could have been an argument, some disagreement here uh, between the both of you. And they're wanting to heal. Reconcile here is what I'm getting. Clarify Hanging Man for how this person will be feeling about Pisces. Queen of Cups, yeah. Eight of Wands, Page of Cups. They're wanting to send you a message, communicate with you. This person has love for you. It's all cups here. <laughs> Very emotional when it comes to you. What action will they take towards Pisces? What action will this person take towards Pisces? Knight of Pentacles. They're wanting to grow with you. Um, they're wanting to communicate. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius. But yeah, in the past, it's like one of you gave up or you weren't as hopeful about the situation, but this person's wanting to make it up to you. Magician. They'll do whatever it takes. But they're someone who's slow to commit, if that is what you're looking for. It's almost a friendship, right? What action they're take, they'll take. They're wanting to be there for you. But yeah, they will send you a message. They're not going anywhere. Five of Pentacles in reverse, four of Pentacles, Page of Wands. You'll get a message. They're possessive. They're holding on to you. Some of you, I'm not sure as of how slow moving the night is. It's usually someone who's dragging their feet, but they are. It's on their mind. They're wanting stability with you. Some of you are living with this person. And there were some minor disagreements. And you'll reconcile. <laughs> this person's wanting to make things right with you. It's very specific here. I expect a message. Page of Wands again. Some of you work with this person. And that is you know, how you'll see each other. They think you're very beautiful. What does this person want? To see you again. Permit in reverse. If they've been quiet, you've been quiet. They want to come back around. They want to reconcile. That is what they're wanting from you. Some of them may even be waiting with the hangman um, for you to reach out first. That is also coming through. Patiently waiting. Yeah, three of wands. Hoping, manifesting, expecting. So if they're not um, coming towards you, yeah, there's separation here. Three of swords. This person's distracting themselves with their work and hoping that you'll reach out first. And a lot of you, if you don't, I feel like they will with the Page of Wands. 
This is straightforward. What is, how will Pisces be feeling about this person? Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're having a hard time releasing this completely as well. But there may have been something, some harsh words exchanged or a painful ending here. Perhaps this person ghosted or went quiet without any explanation and you are left wondering. Or there's just some petty arguments or interference from other people. There can be many, right, um, storylines here. But yeah, you're feeling defeated, let down. But you do have love for them as well, Page of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Why will Pisces be feeling the Ten of Swords? Some of you are just exhausted from... The heavy, there's a heavy workload here. Or three, again, you know, the obvious. There may have been interference, the third party. Right? And this person may have been juggling and they weren't choosing a direction they were indecisive and now they know what they want and it's you right they've made that decision emperor ace of wands you're the one i want pisces be careful some of you if you're doing physical labor protect your back there may be some back pain here I'm getting that literally, and I don't get messages like that. World, yeah, ending of a cycle here. Some of you are leaving one job for another. That may be your focus here, or you may be let go of. And that's something you're concerned about. I don't get that, though. It's not the main message. A lot of pentacles coming through something to do with financial matters or a new job here but yeah if, if one situation doesn't work out in your favor with justice there's something better with empress ace of pentacles it's a new beginning especially if financial abundance is coming through so you don't have much to worry about i don't even know if you're entirely focused on this situation some of you if there was a uh, ending you were overthinking things it's almost like you're diverting your attention to your work as well with the three of pentacles your goals you know if i don't have control over this situation then i'll just focus on what i do have control over Cards are going everywhere. Yeah, you'll be coming out of this. If you've been feeling sad, defeated, you'll be healing five of cups. Because, and some of you, you'll hear from this person, which will be healing within itself, right? Like, where did they go if they disappeared? So they have some explaining to do if that is the case. But there, this person, whoever's on your mind, loves you. Two of cups. Let's get you oracle cards for extra confirmation. Joy. Yeah, you make them very happy. We have intimacy. They're physically very attracted to you with the Ace of Wands, but they're also uh, just enjoy being in your company. Like They're looking deeply into, each, into one another's eyes. And we see that with the Two of Cups. It's similar imagery here. Yeah. You're, they're saying... He's, Pisces, you make me happy. They enjoy your company, but they feel they're not, not enough. There may be some self-worth issues, whether they show that or not. That sometimes can be that Virgo energy. So they've been working on themselves. But do you see he's offering her his heart, but she has a trail of hearts here. He feels like he won't be good enough. So it's like, no matter what I do, it won't be enough whether they feel there may be some pressure they're feeling they may be putting pressure on themselves as the emperor but this person does struggle with insecurities i mean who doesn't so they may have distanced themselves to work on themselves that's also coming through 
Yeah, fear is getting in the way. Wow. It's telling a story. And look, what really drew my eyes um, totally gravitated towards this is the lack of self-worth. So this is the issue. Fear is getting in the way. This will take its time, uh, Pisces, if you're wanting to work on this. They don't seem to be a bad person. How do they feel about you? They love you. I'm feeling overprotective. I look at your social media and secretly spy on you to see who you're talking to and where you're going. So they're overprotective. They look at your social media, watch you, your posts. If you're active on social media, they definitely watch you. I don't have the ability to love you right now. I already have too much on my plate. You both are very busy, I'm getting. But they love you. They may be distracted by the work and you may as well. Maybe the Ten of Swords is they're not giving you enough attention or something. You're living together. We have I love you. I know I don't say it, but I do. It's hard for me to express my feelings. Let my actions show you. So this may be, may be someone who has a hard time verbally expressing how they feel about you. And they're very guarded. Emotionally guarded. They are also distracted. Some of them, it's something about children coming through that they need to tend to or something from their past. Right? That's taking up their time. Oh, that really wanted to jump out. You were too different. That's why I chose someone that is similar to me. Please don't take it personal. So some of you, this this is not the main storyline I'm getting. But even if they have um, chosen someone else over you, they're still in love with you. So I don't know how far that's going to go. Right? So that may be why you're feeling betrayed, backstabbed, ten of swords. Or someone chose someone else out of fear. Fear of stepping out of their comfort zone. But they're, they can't forget you. Let's get you one more Pisces. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do to distract myself. It always leaves me feeling empty and alone. They're distracting themselves with their work, but they're, yeah, they're having a hard time. Some of them made a wrong choice. Yeah, they want to talk, they want to speak with you, but they hang up the phone, they're saying. They're very jealous. They don't want you to get away or move on with someone else. This person's dragging their feet and messaging you, though, I'm getting. But you'll hear from them. They're waiting for you to reach out, and if you don't, they will. But yes, Pisces, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. I will see you hopefully next week. Bye.